For centuries, individuals who suffered from seizures were thought to be either agents of God or possessed by demons. But thanks to science, we now know that these seizures are a result of a chronic neurological illness called epilepsy, which affects around 50 million people worldwide. Your brain controls the way you function. Inside your brain, millions of nerve cells pass messages to each other through electric signals. In epilepsy, the normal chemical and electric signals between nerve cells in the brain become disturbed. This disturbance causes the neurons to fire abnormally, sort of like an electrical storm, causing seizures. In a seizure, many neurons fire at the same time, much faster than usual and sometimes up to 500 times a second. This results in different symptoms of epilepsy depending on which part of the brain was affected. Seizures can take on many different forms and affect different people in different ways. People often think of epileptic seizures as causing muscle spasms or a loss of consciousness, but some seizures can instead cause sudden emotions, sensations, or behaviors that may seem inappropriate and may not be initially recognized as caused by epilepsy. Some people with epilepsy stare off into space or make strange sounds during a seizure. Other people may make unusual movements such as walking in circles or being unable to answer questions or even speak. Depending on the part of the brain affected and the severity of the disturbance in the brain, epileptic seizures can range from relatively benign events that happen rarely to recurrent, disabling, or even possibly life-threatening emergencies. While there is no cure for epilepsy yet, various treatment options are available that can reduce the epileptic symptoms. The most common treatment option for epilepsy is the use of anti-epileptic drugs, or AEDs. AEDs help control seizures in about 70% of patients. They work by changing the levels of chemicals in the brain. These anti-epileptic drugs don't cure epilepsy, but they can stop seizures from happening. Recently, the FDA has approved a cannabis-based drug to treat epileptic patients. The drug, called Epidiolex, does not produce a high and has been an increasing focus of medical research. In one large-scale, randomized controlled trial, this marijuana-based drug significantly reduced the number of dangerous seizures in patients with a severe form of epilepsy called Lennox-Gastau syndrome. When medications fail to provide adequate control over seizures, surgery may be an option. With epilepsy surgery, a surgeon removes the area of the brain that is causing seizures. One possible option for some patients is vagus nerve stimulation. In this process, doctors implant a device called a vagus nerve stimulator underneath the skin of the chest, similar to a pacemaker. Wires from the stimulator are connected to the vagus nerve in the neck. BNS doesn't cure epilepsy, but like anti-seizure medicines, in most people it helps reduce symptoms. The battery-powered device sends bursts of electrical energy through the vagus nerve into the brain. It's not clear how this inhibits seizures, but the device can usually reduce seizures by 20 to 40 percent. Another treatment option for epileptic patients is deep brain stimulation, where a surgeon implants electrodes into a specific part of the brain, typically the thalamus. The electrodes are connected to a generator implanted in the chest or the skull that sends electric pulses to the brain and may reduce seizures. While a cure for epilepsy isn't imminent, progress in treatment is making a difference. Researchers are beginning to learn how different types of epilepsy are inherited. Eventually, a better understanding of genetics could lead to more targeted and more effective treatments for the different varieties of seizures.